we're in the Lake District, England, to look at the extreme precision needed to survive a hard enduro season with 2015 champion Johnny Walker. My name's Johnny Walker. I'm 25 years old and I race hard enduro. Hard Enduro is a mix between motocross and trials. We do like long distance races, short distance races, but it's over all sorts of terrain. My background was trials. I grew up, I started riding at four years old, all the way up until I was 17. I even did the world championships and the juniors, and then I just fancied a change and Enduro stood out for me. The skills going from, from trials to Enduro is easier than going from motocross to Enduro. You know, we have a lot more clutch control, and a lot more skill when it comes to balance and riding over rocks and stuff. The terrain that we go over is a bit of everything. We'll have rocks, rivers, we'll have forests, mountains, we have everything that you can imagine thrown at us in one day of racing. And the outdoor races, some vary. I'll do like a one hour race up to a five day race, which is six, seven hours a day. You get rain, snow, we can get every sort of weather and it would not be called off because it, it's dangerous or anything like that. We have to ride in any sort of weather. I race a KTM 300 EXC two-stroke, which weighs about 100 kilograms and it'll roughly do 100 miles an hour. So this bike's basically a standard bike. The only thing I change at the moment is the suspension. You know, I have a different rear shock and uh, different forks and it's kind of set up for my weight so I can hit stuff how I want and I have a few more adjusters on it so I can change it a lot more than what a standard shot can. Because we're prone to punctures, we don't use a, a normal tube. We use this, is, which is called a mousse. We don't run any air in the tires, it's just a solid piece of foam. It doesn't exactly have a pressure. It's a little bit heavier than a, a tube, but at the end of the day, you don't get a puncture, so it makes it a lot better. When we're at races, we're the only ones that can really fix the bike. You're by yourself, so you've got to have the tools on you to try and fix the bike, and you've got to know yourself how you're going to fix it. I think the toughest race I've got physically is the Romaniacs, which is five days, six, seven hours a day on the bike, and uh, you're up at six o'clock in the morning, and you, you don't go to sleep until late at night. Obviously, going into a race, the main goal is to win, but sometimes it's not not the main thing to go flat out at the start when you should be finishing strong. When I'm racing, I have a camel pack and I'm just constantly taking in water and eating energy gels until I finish the race. I think doing CrossFit's good because it's a variety and it's really intense and when we're riding on the mountains and doing my races that I do indoor, it's intense all the time. Your heart rate's at an average of 180, so you've got to train like you're racing. We vary it so much, then the body's always guessing, which fits really well for Johnny's sport. The known part is that he's on a bike, but often there are unknowns, especially with enduro racing, where you can come across obstacles that put um, specific demands on your body. So we try and keep all of Johnny's movements functional. What we mean by that is um, naturally human movements. So, you know, shifting an external object, but also being able to move his own body well. Every morning I come in and do a session, you know, I go home, I feel like I've done something good, but you know, a lot of the time I am dead, but some races are two hours, some races are seven hours. So you can come in and the workout's that intense that, you know, you feel like you've done a few hours. I think the main technique for riding is just clutch control and throttle control. If you can master that, then you're not gonna have as many crashes you lose a little bit of fuel every time you, you crash and you know the more times you're picking 100 kilograms up the, the, the quicker you get tired. When I'm picking a line you need to be very precise. I'm looking at the smoothest line but obviously one that's not going to damage my bike in any sort of a way and obviously try and take the quickest line. I remember getting to some drops in races and I remember looking at them and thinking we never go down there. I think it's just a confidence thing when you come to stuff like that to get over the fear because I'm, I'm really scared of heights, I'm not going to lie, and uh, when you come to stuff like that, it's, it's bad, but when I'm, when I'm on the bike, I don't seem to struggle with that sort of stuff, so, you know, as long as you're confident, you're all right. You don't actually know what's coming up in a day at a lot of the races, and you don't know how the other people are performing, 
But I know that going to a race, I've done as much as I can to get myself at the top form that I can be. So I go there and ride good. I know it's going to be difficult for someone to try and beat me. Bye. I think what makes Enduro stand out is the desire that people have, you know, people that are turning up in the, in the say, 40s, from pros to hobby riders, and, you know, they just love riding the bike, and they get to ride on, like, the best terrain at the best races with the best people, and I think that's what they love about it, and that's what brings the sport together.